Hello everyone and welcome back to WoW Classic. We are back in Root Theron Village today because one of you guys a while back let me know that when we turned in the quest where the lady over here told us we needed to read a book that the book was there and I just didn't look hard enough for it I guess. The book is over here on the floor and even though she didn't give us a quest to pick this book up uh, it seems this book has a quest of its own. It's called Fairless A History. So thank you again uh, for letting me know that I just totally missed this book. This book looks as if no one has opened it for quite a long time. Its covers are quite worn and its pages are yellowed, but after examining it, you notice that it might be just what Troyus is looking for. You pick it up, but realize you should probably ask before borrowing it. Now we go back to her. So, you'd like to borrow Feralissa History? Let me think. I will allow you to borrow this book, but only if you do something for me first. I have studied many subjects in my time, and my latest fascination is with the snap jaw that occupy the beach in the hinterlands. There's one in particular I'd like to see, a giant snap jaw named Gamirita. I'd like to go myself, but my research keeps me here. I think a picture of her would be the next best thing. Take this letter to Krugel Cracklehoop in Tanneris. She has created an invention for me that can capture a picture. She called it a snapshot. So first, uh, we're going to Tanneris. All of this to borrow a library book. Alright, well we can hearth back to Feathermoon. And then I can fly over to Tanneris from there. So we will do that. Are you another one of Darren's interns? She's quite a knowledgeable historian. You should be grateful to be studying under her leadership. Now, let me get the Super Snapper FX. You're gonna love it. Have the first look at my new invention. All you need to do is target whatever it is you'd like to take a picture of and push the button. What was the creature from the Hinterlands that you mentioned? Gamarita? Well, good luck finding her. I'm sure Darren will be quite pleased with the snapshot you returned to her. In any case, here's the Super Snapper. Have fun. Very well, then. One second. Seems a little too high today. There we go. Alright, so the Super Snapper... If I, oh, this is an elite quest. Take a snapshot of Gamarita. Why would it be an elite quest just to take a picture of an elite mob? Target and click to take a snapshot. Even if it kills us after we take the picture, does that really matter? I don't know. The Hinterlands. So we have... I think we have a flight point to the Airy Peak. So we're going to have to head that way. That's going to be quite a journey. How are we going to get over there? Well, I guess we're going to fly to Theramore. And we're going to take that boat over to Menethil. And then I guess it's not a far flight from Menethil. That being said, I have no idea where this turtle is. So yeah, we might have to, <clears throat> excuse me, we might have to comb the entire zone to get a look at it. But let's go ahead and uh, we'll jump on a flight over to Theramore and I will just cut back in when I get to the Hinterlands because it could be quite some time before that happens. Alright, we are over here in the beautiful Hinterlands and we're along the eastern coast. I'm thinking the turtles are either going to be here or along this river. I, we were over here previously what feels like a long time ago and I remember there being turtles along this coast, and yes, there are turtles, they are level 50. Uh, so we are looking for Gamarita. Uh, 
And these are all not aggressive thankfully, so we can just ride up and down this coast and take a quick look. And see if we can find it. And once we find it, then we'll worry about how we're going to take it on. We're going to try just to take a picture of it and run away. Don't know if that's actually going to work. Oh, I guess it could be on land as well. I kind of remember this turtle from when I played Horde back in vanilla. I think it was on land that you'd find it, not in the in the ocean or along the coast. Aha. Okay. Let's see, what is the range on this thing? Um, did we complete the quest technically? I'd love to know that. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to kill this thing or not. But we do have the picture. So I'm kind of hoping that counts as a quest complete. And that's it. We are out of mana. I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's fine. We have completed the quest. So now we just have to get back to Root there in Village. <laughs> From the Hinterlands, mind you. So that's, uh, that's going to be a little bit of a journey. At least our body is right here. It doesn't really get us anywhere. And honestly, the, the fastest thing for me to do is probably going to be to wait for the Hearthstone to come off a of cooldown. And we'll hearth back um, to fair to uh, the village in Fairless, and then we're just going to have about a 20-minute flight to get us over uh, to root there in the village. So that's what I'm going to do. And for you guys, that will be only moments. All this just to borrow a book. So you finally returned, and you brought the contraption that Kurgle built for me. Perfect. While Kurgle's invention lived up to its expectations, don't get too excited, but do know that I am pleased with your work. Now, where did I leave that book? Here it is. Please take care of my book. Now, hurry along. I'm sure Troyus is eager for your return. And after all of that, we get to go back to Feathermoon to hopefully continue the quest chain and learn more about the Silithid. I'm going to jump a flight down there, and I will see you when we get there. Um, okay. Yeah, just walk over here. That's fine. A history. Hmm, let me examine this for a moment. Amazing. I think I have found it. Can I assist you? The Stave of Equinex. This stave might be the Stave of Equinex. The Stave of Equinex is actually a key used to unlock the Equinex monolith in the ruins of Ravenwind on the mainland west of the Dream Burrow. Find the four flames that still burn in those ruins. Sama, Imbel, Birtan, 
and Lahasa retrieve their essence and then while standing by the Equinex monolith use the essences to energize the stave. It is if this is truly the stave of Equinex, you will be able to unlock the monolith and gather a sacred artifact from it. Okay, let's let's unpack this a little bit. We have to go to the ruins of Ravenwind on the mainland west of the Dream Bow. Are we supposed to know anything that he's talking about? Greetings. West of the Dream Bow. Find four flames that still burn in those ruins. Retrieve their essences, essences while standing by the equ Okay. Okay. I, I'm checking the map to see if we have anything called the Dream Bow. And we don't. So we're going to have to look for that. Uh, we have a few other things that we could do here. We have to also find the other Yeti. I think we need to go investigate this area to the north. Um, I'm thinking that maybe the Yeti are in there. Where in the hell this other place is, I have no idea. I kind of thought it was going to be something down on the Isle of Dread, but they said on the mainland... In the ruins of Ravenwind, which we don't know where that is. West of the Dream Bow, which we also don't know where that is. So, yeah, that's uh, a lot of things that we don't know the location of. And we've uncovered, like, all the map except up here. So I'm just kind of hoping that maybe it will also be something up here. Uh, we've been all through these ruins. These are not... Uh, the ruins that we're looking for. So once again, I'm going to do a little bit of traveling here and then we'll cut back in once we are up in this area and see what we find up there. Hopefully some Yeti and maybe some ruins. We will see. Well, let's, uh, let's take on some of these water elementals and see if we can also work on fuel for zapping a little bit. Seeing as how the quest has been in our log for quite some time now. Uh, with little progress being made. The enchanted water is lower level, but I'll, I'll start keeping a hold of it in case, uh, like right now, how I, I'm really awesome at remembering to buy water. <laughs> at least with the elemental water, we'll have something we can drink. It's better than nothing. It's not ideal. And of course, now we find more Veil Screechers up here. A uh, place that we never looked for them. I'm wondering if this is even going to get us over to the road. It doesn't look like there's going to be any way up. And, oh, you know what? That might be a way up right ahead of us. It looks rather steep, but I think we can do it. And yes, we can skin. We can do that. I can. 
I haven't been doing much with the leather besides selling it. Not on the auction house either. Just to the vendors. The Twin Colossals. Okay. We have nothing telling us to go anywhere near the Twin Colossals. But we might as well have a look around, seeing as how we don't have many more places to look over here. There's a small area by Camp Mohage. Oh, we have a talent point. There's a small area near Camp Mohage where we could uh, investigate power infusion. Infuses the target with power. Increasing their spell damage and healing by 20% last 15 seconds. Uh, sure. Could do that. We might as well grab it, uh, and then we're going to be done with that tree, I think. Maybe we'll go after improved Shadow Word Pain after that. Let's check out this cave over here. This might be the cave where the other type of Yeti are at that we need for improved quality. Well, these guys are level 50. Raid Scar Yeti, yep, that's what we need. They have an Enrage. That's gonna hurt. And we need skinning 235 to skin them. We're one point away. That's, uh, that's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I like that we're crackling with lightning. That has nothing to do with being a priest, but uh, it's cool graphic, I guess. Well, there's one item. This level 50 hunter is making short work of these guys. Let's back off a little bit.
do we need to go up here and just uncover this to see what's up there? I, I'm kind of worried about not understanding where any of these locations are at. Usually you know about at least one location mentioned in a quest. We've never heard of the Equinix, Equinix monolith. We've never heard of the ruins of Ravenwind. And we've never heard of the Dream Bow, even though all of these things are capitalized, so you'd think they would be map locations. It doesn't say that we need to go to a different zone, it says on the mainland. Otherwise I'd be half convinced we were looking for these places in a different zone. And we're going to get to deal with the same kind of drop rate that we've already been dealing with for the water elementals. I don't want two of these guys. We're going to run... A little bit this way. Maybe we'll get our, our last skill point off of this guy and then we can skin everything up here. If we can get past the failed attempts. Did we get it? No. <laughs> no, we didn't. Brilliant. It's okay, the hunter will come behind us and skin everything, I'm sure. Nice resist, buddy. This quest might be a similar situation where I might not want to do this all at once. I don't really want to fight 40 yetis just to get 10 hides. Eventually that's what so much of Classic becomes. You need to spend a, a lot of time on incredibly simplistic quests. And you know, if they told you to go kill 45 yeti, you'd be like, what, what, what? They tell you to go get 10 items, you're like, oh yeah, 10 items. Well, that's reasonable. And then it turns out that you do have to kill about 40 of them to get those 10 items. So we'll see. We'll grab a couple more of these guys and then I want to finish exploring the map. Okay, the drop rate's a little bit better than the elemental cores, but not very much. Thank you. 
Around one of these corners is a cave entrance, I'm sure, but um, I don't know if the hunter went in there or if they were on their way out. Oh, let's do... I'm not going to pop this until after I fired off this long cast time. Oh, hi there! Hello! You know, don't mind us, we're just contemplating what spells to use right in front of you. All these respawned already, probably because of how fast that hunter was decimating them. I hope they don't start respawning right behind us for a minute or two. That would be unfortunate. I don't think we could take two of these guys, I wouldn't want to try. Here we go, here's the skill point. Come on, skill point. Come on, skill point. No skill point. For being extremely hard to skin them, it's not really giving us any skill points when we succeed. This one is going to path back over here. Let's uh, let's just wait for him to come back. Okay, they're respawning behind us now. Uh, which way is he gonna go? Shit, shit, shit. That's not good. That's not good at all. We are out of mana, folks. Why don't you go that way? Yeah, fun times and all that. Let's go ahead and run. Definitely okay with running. Our last water, can we get our last two Yeti hides with the mana that we're going to have after we drink this? Could go either way. Uh, 
Um, that one seems like he's going to pull this other one. Can we pull this one first? Let's get him way back here. I do see that our legs are beginning to break. <laughs> There's nine. Uh, we just need one more. Okay, I'm feeling good about this. Let's grab this guy and we're going to also pull him back. Back down here with our pile. Requires skinning at 240. Oh, there's number 10. All right, perfect, perfect. I think we're going to still go north here and we're going to explore just to uncover this part of the map so we can rule out uh, those ruins being up here. And, you know, in 11 minutes, we'll hearth back and we'll turn, we'll at least turn in the Raid Scar Yeti Hides. That will only leave us the Water Elemental Cores for collection quests right now. And then I'll just, I'll throw the question to you guys. Uh, where are these ruins that we need to find? Uh, it can, assuming that we don't find them up here uh, to the north. Where are they at? I don't know that I've ever been in this part of Feralis on any character at any point. Is there a way to get up on top of this mountain? Hmm, that's pretty unique and impressive looking. I've never seen anything quite like that. It looks like on the mini-map that there is maybe a wall of ruins and a little lake up there. I'd like to be able to get up there and check it out. Maybe if we come around on this side. Doesn't look like any real clear path upward. But I do see some ruins uh, over here to the east. Bye bye mount. I always forget that in classic the mount just goes away when you're in water. Makes sense, it turns into a puff of smoke. Alright, this is a ruin. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> uh, that's not what we're looking for. What is this area called? Oneros? Oneros is not what we're looking for. We definitely don't want to contend with any skull level enemies. Are you guys all skull level elites? Yes, you are. Are we just getting further and further into an elite area? Is that what's happening? Well, let's check the west, and then we'll go further to the northeast. You guys are normal level, and I see a ruin over here, so let's try to make our way to that ruin. I see some ruins to our left and our right. Ah, the ruins of Ravenwind. Here we go.
Unlock the Equinex Monolith in the Ruins of Ravenwind. Find the four flames that still burn in the ruins. Okay. So we would be looking for four flames still burning in these ruins. I'm assuming that means that we'd want to investigate some of these uh, areas here. So hey, at least now we know where it is. I think what we're going to do is we're going to hearth back to the stronghold. We're going to sell everything in our bags. We're going to turn in improved quality. We're going to buy some water and food. And once we are properly equipped, we're going to head back out here now that we know what we're looking for. So there we go. That's the plan. It's the plan right after we deal with this harpy at least. The Harpy that does quite a bit of damage oh, through our Power Word Shield in a matter of seconds there. There we go. Alright, so yeah, that's the plan, guys. Let me know what you think so far, and if I've missed anything, I'd love to know that as well. And as always, thank you guys for joining me here today. It is the start of a new year, and I'm really looking forward to all the things that are going to come to us in this new year. Hopefully we'll have a lot of good moments and a lot of good times. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth really soon. Bye now.